Hey everybody, Norm over here, and uh, I'm sitting here with the boys, and we just got in three new Zematis guitars. Um, these are really cool, mm -hmm. and uh, the original ones were made in England by Tony Zematis, and he was quite a character, and all the character, top, yeah. all the top mm -hmm. British groups used to play Zematis guitars. Yeah, that's the right. Stones, uh, it was a, it was Edmonds, a thing. Uh, Donovan. As soon as anybody started doing well. Uh, they they go to Tony Zematis to get a handmade guitar. Uh, Hendrix had one that twelve string that he played the blues uh -huh. on. Acoustics and electric. Acoustics and electric. And the acoustics were really big. Our friend Chris from London, he got one built, and it was like it was you could have lived in that thing. Nah. Man. It, it was crazy with the hard shaped sound hole. So and, uh, um, these guitars are really cool. We're going to show you what they do. These two over here are um, the, uh, oh, actually these two are the 24 fret. This is 24, yeah. Uh, and that's a 24, and that's a 22 with a gloss finish. With the gloss finish. These are really, really nice. cool. They're really known for the, uh, the etching on the uh, metal uh, fronts on these things. Yeah. Really distinctive looking and really cool. Great on stage guitars. These guitars sound and play great. So we're gonna be a dealer for them. And, and they're, they're really beautifully made. All this yeah. tooling and the machine work is like it's pretty fantastic. Uh, so you you knew just, Tony a little bit, right? I, I I won't say I knew. I've met him a couple of times because uh, I worked on Denmark Street. So when he'd bring a guitar up for Ronnie Wood or whoever it was, he you know that was like where all the music stores were. So he'd be up there, and there was always like a oh I saw Tony Zemeckis walking down the street. Okay, was, I gotta ask you about this because. Uh, there's lore that Tony built an airplane. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. In his like a, a like a garage or he had a shed out the back where he did all the. All, he had his workshop and and his buddy, uh, whose name escapes me. I'm sorry. Did all the tooling and stuff outside. And after he finished building the plane, <laughs> he realized he couldn't get it out of the place. Yeah. So, I'm not sure That's what That's the did. story. It was like, it was it's like a lore. shed with wings sticking out of it. Yeah, yeah. wow. So, <laughs> you know, I like eccentric people. Tony was a little eccentric. Yeah. But he did build some really cool guitars. He's kind these of a genius, things, really. And these things really look and play and sound great. So, and they're affordable. So, um... These are affordable. The real ones, not the so much The real ones, anymore. not so much. Those are pretty expensive guitars. Yeah. I've had a few over the years, and... Uh, did you get yeah. one off Ronnie Wood? Ronnie Wood had a few, didn't he? I didn't get one from my. I got, got one, one from McMars. Um, what's that? McMars. From McMars. Yeah, McMars. I, got, I got two from McMars. Yeah. A twelve string and a six string. That the twelve true. string was yeah. crazy. And Joe Bonamassa has a twelve string. Yeah, now. yeah, and it sat, and, that sounded uh, amazing. So they're, you know, they've become very collectible, and uh, you know, some of the old ones are forty, fifty thousand yeah. dollars, or you know. Big dollars. And they feel great straight out, straight out. We literally just got these out of the box, thank you. And uh, and they feel great, like straight away. Yeah. Very warm sounding too. Yeah, really, yeah. So do that little thing that you guys were doing. Uh, we got Kenny on the right. uh, 22 fret, and uh, Nick and Michael on the 24. The <laughs> and I really right. love the way they look with that all the etching and all that. Yeah. Very distinctive looking guitars, and they play and sound great too. So you can come and buy them here now. That's right. Cool. Should we try it? Ready? Right. Yeah. One, two, three, four. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
He was uh, one of the most famous Zermatis players that was, I suppose, behind Keith and Roddy because he used one on all, a lot of their hits. And if you're writing a spaghetti western or anything like that, there's the music right there. There's your soundtrack. Anyhow, these are really cool Zomatis guitars. We have them here. They're for sale. This is where you come. Uh, these things play beautifully. They sound great. And these are, there's no effects on them right now. This right is out of the, the box. Yeah. Right out of the box. Sound great. Come with nice cases. A little bit of reverb. Yep. All good. There it is. Right here at Norm's Records. Thank you, guys.